Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching JavaScript tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about variables. So let's get started. All right guys, so I have opened the project folder in Sublime Text. And inside the project folder, I have created a new file and I have named it variables.html. And inside this variables.html file, I have written the following code. And inside the JS folder, I have created a variables.js file, which is empty at the moment. And inside this variables.html file, I have included this variables.js file, which is inside the JS folder by writing this line. Now I'll go ahead and open this variables.html file in Chrome. So this is our variables.html file. And we have opened this file in Chrome and now we'll open DevTools. So we'll go to View, Developer and we'll select this Developer Tools. And we'll switch to Console tab. And we can see it is empty. That means we don't have any error. All right, so what is a variable? A variable is a named container that holds some value. And in JavaScript, we create a variable using the var keyword. So in JavaScript, we create a variable using the var keyword. Now how to name a JavaScript variable? Well, a name of a JavaScript variable must be unique in our code. And we can use the following characters to name a JavaScript variable. So we can use the following characters to name a variable. We can use letters, small a to z, and capital A to Z. We can use digits 0 to 9. We can use dollar sign. And we can use underscore. And note variable name can't start with a digit. Now let us go ahead and create our very first variable. So to create a variable, we'll use the var keyword. And let's say our first variable is username. And we'll close the line using semicolon. So at this line, we have created a variable using the var keyword. And the name of the variable is username. And we have not assigned any value to this variable. So let us go ahead and assign a username to this variable username. So we'll write the name of the variable and we'll use the assignment operator or the equal to sign. And let us assign a string value so we can use either double quotes or single quotes. So let us go ahead and use double quotes. And I'm going to use my name. You can use your name or any name that you like. So Yusuf Shakil. And now if we console log this variable, we'll get the value stored inside this variable. That is Yusuf Shakil. So we'll write console.log and we'll write the name of the variable, which is username. And we'll close the line using semicolon. And now if we go back to Chrome and reload the page, we can see we have a value, Yusuf Shakil, printed inside this console. And it is coming from variables.js file from line number 18. That is, we are printing the value stored inside this variable username. We can combine the creation of variable and assignment of value to the variable, these two lines into one by merging them. So if we write var 
username equal to Yusuf Shakil. We are creating a variable and we are assigning a string value to the variable. And now if we console log username, we'll still get the same output. So if we go back to Chrome and let me clear the console and if we reload, we get the same result. And this is coming from variables.js file line 16. That is, we are printing the value inside the username variable. We can declare multiple variables in a single line using comma. So let's say we have three more variables. Let's say var first name. And let's say another variable is last name. And let's say the third variable is points. Now, please note any variable inside our code that is not assigned any value is set to undefined. So in this case, we have three variables, first name, last name and points. And we have declared the variables, but we have not assigned any value using the assignment operator. So these three variables are at this moment having undefined value. So if we console log first name and if we console log last name and if we console log points, we are going to get undefined values for these three variables. So if we go back to Chrome and let me clear the console. And now if we reload the page, we have Yusuf Shakil, which is coming from line 16 because we have already assigned this string Yusuf Shakil to the variable username. And we have three undefined values from line 20, 21 and 22. That is for the first name, last name and points. So if we declare a variable and if we don't assign any value to that variable, then that variable will be set to undefined. Now, please note, if we redeclare this username variable, let's say at this line var username. And if we don't assign any value to this variable username, and if we console log username at this line, we are going to get Yusuf Shakil. This is because we have already declared and assigned a value at line 14 to the variable username. So if we redeclare this variable without assigning any value, the variable will retain its previous value. So if we console log username at this line after redeclaring it, we are still going to get the previous value, which is Yusuf Shakil. So let us go back to Chrome, clear the console and reload the page. And if we look at the console output, we can see we have Yusuf Shakil coming from line 16. And we also have three undefined values from 20, 21 and 22. These are for the first name, last name and points, which are undefined because we have not assigned any value. And we have Yusuf Shakil from line 26. That is this. So even though we have redeclared the variable username, we are still getting the previous value. So if let's say we redeclare the variable again, and this time we set the value to let's say some new value. And now if we console log username, we are going to get this new value. So let us go back to Chrome, clear the console and reload the page. And now if you look at the output, we can see we have some new value 
coming from line 30. And if we want to assign a new value to a variable that has already been declared, we don't have to use the var keyword. We can just write username equal to and set a new value to that variable. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website, tyclassroom.com. And all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You'll find all the links in the video description, so please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please like this video and please subscribe my channel. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye!